Right, guys, to start the day, let me check your temperature. Bring your head here. Come here. Come closer. Can I have that? Because I need to use it for Wait, I'm checking their temperature. Okay, you're green. You're good to go. You're good to go. Yeah. It's me. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? Um, I'm in the dressing room at Steph's Pack Lunch. That's a show in the UK. I'm going to present a friend on that show. This show. Anyway. I'm gonna try vlogging again. I don't wanna hear you guys noise. I can feel the noise already, but I was watching one of my favorite vloggers the other day. I think her name's Janae. I'm gonna tag her. I'm gonna try and insert the photo. But she said something in the video that I found really, it just touched me. She was like, where are all the normal vlogs? Now, as a massive consumer of luxury girl, black girl luxury of fashion, of this, of that, I watched Janae's vlogs and I just exhale because it's everyday things and I miss those kind of vlogs and I'm really struggling to find them at the moment and I was like mm. but you're actually doing a disservice to yourself because how about you just create the content you want to see I don't know how normal my life is guys again that's up for debate but I'm gonna try this one more time because you guys know I've been trying to do this vlog thing for too many times and then i say i'm gonna do it then i flop and then i stop and then i drop stop drop and roll let's try one more time so i don't know what the date is today is it february Sutton, Sutton. i'll put the date here i'll ease myself in by saying this will be a weekly vlog also for now guys because i don't have my vlogging camera with me i'm using my phone and i've got terrible eye infection so i have to put this shit in my eye four times a day like i said it's a real fuck. <laughs> Titles record, which is probably about 10 past 12. Okay, got it, got it, so, got it. Sort of from then. Okay, cool. But there you go. Thank you. you. Quite a while, I think. Yes, thank you. I really just want to wear sunglasses, guys, but because I can't wear my contacts. No sunglassy. No sunglassy. <laughs> We're off to a cracking start. There's she KF though, no? Mm -hmm. With the eye infection. <laughs> Period. <laughs> I'm going to ruin my makeup. Periodic table. <laughs> is in alignment with helping bring her home so if there was a struggle with alcohol and we think that's part of the story or the suggestion of why she's gone missing or where she could be absolutely but three weeks later like what are you playing at the menopause bit was way too far for me what has her cycle or lack thereof got to do with the situation it felt so much like victim blaming and finally home after long days like that where i've spent six hours in a car it's like a three hour drive to leeds and then of course i've got to get home the first thing i do is put on one of body's t-shirts and wash my makeup off i literally can't think with my makeup on i'm just like i want it off so let's do that and Vaseline. If you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I have a Peloton treadmill that I'm standing on. I also have a Peloton bike. This is my makeshift gym. Um, and at the beginning of this year, not no, at the end of 2022, I made a promise to myself to get on the treadmill every single day. Um, and then I fell really ill, as luck would have it. So I picked up on it this year, and this is week seven of me getting on the treadmill every single day apart from three days after i had my wisdom tooth out and a couple of days or four or five days when i was in new york i get on this thing every single day if you have followed me online for years or you've read any of my books you would know that 10 years ago running was very central to my life i have run multiple marathons multiple 10ks all of that jazz like running was my thing shut up run them through but i had two kids life gets busy you start trying to do other things and running just went on the back burner and peloton gifted me this thank you um i bought my bike and i was just like this is a great way to try and fall back in love with running so week seven 
we're gonna do what it do and if you follow me on insta you would see that i document this every single day so let's do the thing i feel like the trick to today's run is to go out even slower than i would normally do <laughs> mistake I don't think I was ready for that jump up but with only 10 minutes left we have to finish what we started to the best of our ability Deal. <laughs> seen you in years rj say hi, hi. <laughs> guys he's talking he's at school he's lost a tooth you got to show them where you lost your tooth okay okay <laughs> <laughs> he's quite the character i'm going to show them something cooler oh, oh what's the cool thing oh my gosh guys he's obsessed with building exquisite like hold on a second you know my son built this from scratch like with no um instru no instructions buddy no instructions. it's so symmetrical he always does that he builds different things RJ, you are and super and you should see him when he gets technical with it and the like, way he looks at it from behind i know well you know how i knew that because at 6 a.m this morning when i was trying to get ready for work he was building, that. He was building this <laughs> Remember, I came in the room to put you back to sleep and you were like, I have to build my thing. <laughs> there you are. They say what you want. There yeah. we go. There we are. He's getting a new iPad today, guys. After like three years, his iPad finally said, bye, bye, bye. This, this is the current state of our just... just said, bye. <laughs> he said, bye. And yesterday, apparently, he dropped it in a bucket of water by accident. And it was Hannah's bucket. It then was Hannah's it bucket. Start, then it just started breaking. Yeah, it dropped well, in Hannah's not bucket. straight away. Yeah. Because all of the water didn't get in it that time. But then all the water got in it yesterday, right? Yeah. Oh. Another thing, guys. Your girl's a cover girl. Cover girl. This is me on the front of a children's magazine specifically for black kids it's called coco girl there is a boy version um and i die this is like an esme she's just been so taken with it i can't even deal uh, he's outside so the premise of this interview is me talking about my new um young adult novel it's called cuts both ways i'm just obsessed <laughs> to get on this treadmill every single day today is my rest day and by rest that means i'm gonna have a power walk i've got a 
45 minute hip hop power walk bookmarked, Jesus, what a tongue twister, um, with one of my favorite trainers, Kirsten. Um, they did not pay me to say this, but if you're looking to build a great at home gym, Peloton, mm, they will not lead you wrong, guys. I'll tell you that for free. So I need to put my shoes online. These are my indoor shoes. These have never been outside. Um, my indoor training shoes. And um, get busy. Caribbean Park. Oh, baby, are we going to have some fun today? We have a two song world followed by six songs. Baby, you have. ended up going with a 30 minute caribbean what how would the u.s say it? caribbean 30 minute caribbean walk which was basically just bashment we had elephant man mr vegas shakadimas and pliers if you know you know i really needed that recovery today because this week of training has been a little bit it's been a little bit touching up it's been a bit touching up and so i listened to my body and i listened to my mental health that was like i don't want to run today to ha then have a, a like a hat trick of bad runs and then somehow get in my mind and feel like i can't do this and i had a great conversation with my husband last night who's known me for what feels like ever but obviously he knew me pre-kids and he was like you are on the cusp of being as strong as a runner as you were before you even fell pregnant with esme that's a big deal like i've not committed to the act of running for 10 years and so he was like don't let a bad week make you feel like there's no progression or you're you're not doing the thing he was like i've watched you for seven weeks show up on that thing every single day put some respect on your name so i'm gonna do just that i need to get in the shower ciao bye <sighs> i need to get ready to go out tonight i'm going to snapchat and vogue are having an exhibition redefining the body it's all ai vr it's very technology based i'm listening to our new podcast episode myself and my husband um in the background but of course because i haven't vlogged in 10 million years you guys haven't seen this space super quick tour this is my walk-in wardrobe it's an absolute bomb site right now but this is it and um lights come on you know it's a vibe it's an absolute vibe all that down there i've got my that's where i do my makeup great natural light this ciao so if you follow me on instagram you know i do a series called ootd welcome back to another word ootd and this shoe shelf bag space is the background i need to put my luggage away um i've got an island in the middle that is filled with rubbish uh, I've got a chair there and then more cupboards there and cupboards there. It's speedy tour, speedy tour. Like I said, it's a mess. I need to put my face on. Oh, and any dress of this style that you see me wear is by a brand called Daily Sleeper. Um, but there are so, so many dupes on the market. I just find Daily Sleeper's quality to last forever like i started wearing daily sleeper in 2017 2018 2018 and i've had dresses of theirs from that year that i just never get rid of and this coffee caramel cocoa mocha situation j'adore and obviously shade on my nails so um let's get into that i only ever wear red so even the adding of the pink we were like girl but i adore Child, I haven't used this camera in so long. Watching me try to work out the settings is lols. 
I've only got 10 minutes left on this SD card. I need to switch it out before I go. If not, y'all ain't going to see. So, like I said earlier, I'm going to a Vogue event. Vogue have partnered with Snapchat to put on a installation. That's not the word. I said the word earlier. Um... I have a great working relationship with Snapchat. So they were like, we want to send you there. I was like, girl, you're going to ask me twice. The issue is though, and it's not even an issue because I, I had a plus one, as in they offered me a plus one. No one could go. We couldn't get a sitter. All of my friends are busy. It is Friday. A lot of my friends are parents. A few are out of the country. So I'm going alone. And when I tell you, God is really testing me because that is one of my greatest struggles, going to events alone. If you listen to my podcast with Sorrel, listen to that please, Closet Confessions. Also, we just hit 103,000. So over 100k downloads today. Our podcast is brand new. This is its first season. We've only got eight episodes. We are so proud of ourselves. So go listen to that. We speak about this in there and I think because we are quote unquote public figures or we have large platforms or whatever the 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 deal may be people or you you you're watching this now you're like oh she must be so outgoing me 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 go out in public to speak to the public (laughs) and not for a check not as a job it could never be me few things break me out in hives more than like going to places by myself but it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. And my eye is still not feeling good. But anyway, um, basically I'm like, girl, girl, especially if you want to move to New York, in between us actually making the transition to live there, I'm going to have to go back and forth a lot, especially to build up a network and get hired over there. I'm going to be doing a lot of that alone. So get used to it put on your big girl pants of which you have many because child my bum does not accept thongs anymore and just flow with it i doubt i'll be there long i doubt i'll be there so long that i've already got plans to go and have dinner by myself at a private members club that i'm a member of called albright and i'm definitely going to stop in cos and arquette because you know me <laughs> if i'm even in a one mile radius of cause i'm going in there i am defo gonna insert that ootd here so you can see the process of that and follow me on instagram if you don't already but for the purposes of the vlog let's get into what i'm wearing uh, my charlotte simone leopard print coat that i adore the cuffs and the collar are interchangeable into this gorgeous baby pink i'm doing black on black today which isn't usually me i'm wearing a black top from cos and my beloved uh three quarter length faux leather pants from mns but the star of the show <laughs> the star of the show obsessed i actually can't quite with myself disgusting it's so great it's disgusting um yeah the Pradas. uh and I, i've got the matching prada bag but i'm not a billboard they're not paying me so i'm going in with my tiny ny bag hopefully you can see that yeah my tiny ny bag that i got in new york um i got a couple of those and this is the look easy breezy beautiful cover girl i'm not i'm just gonna be short tonight i you know i love me a heel because i'm so little bit but i'm just gonna be tiny tim we'll get over it oh i need a new sd Everything go 
from Maria. some chicken but talk to your friend talk to your friend <laughs> gosh i hate this i hate this angle it's like people can see my brain so then lift it up anyway guys yeah we're gonna, i'm cleaning this chicken we're gonna call it a night yeah he's gonna make me a cocktail what are you telling me to go into the garage? Absolutely not for now. Cool. He's gonna crush some ice for me with a hammer. Oh god. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Peace. Oh. oh, that's better. Someone's in our bed. I don't know who that is. Me. Who's in our bed? Me. Who's in our bed? Me. Who's in our bed? Me. Guys, he's been up for ages. Show them your new build. What did you build? Show them. Or are you this not... is on my drone and it's electric and it can go zoom, zoom, zoom. It's an electric drone with boosters that go zoom, zoom, zoom. How's that for marketing? Ha. I need to charge this. I'm feeling so rough today, guys. And I don't mean physically. Mentally. Ooh. Working for yourself, especially as a black woman in a country that actively doesn't want you to do well. They're, they're slick with it, but this here UK, you know, I made a TikTok the other day where I said, I feel like in this country, I'm just dying a death of, the, death of a thousand cuts and how it feels like this glass ceiling is getting lower and lower and lower. And I just... I had a little cry this morning because um, some days this shit ain't oozy. Um, and I think what makes it even harder, I was speaking to my best friend yesterday, is to know that there's no way out of this feeling because so much of the work I do is tied to my literal destiny. Some days I'd love to wear another hat. Some days I wake up and I'm like, God damn it. Why was I not a heart surgeon? <laughs> like, Lord, Lord of all the gifts. Gifts? You know what I mean. Of all the presents, communication. It's not a vibe. It's not a vibe. Um, I know I'll feel better. I just haven't felt like this in ages. And also, I said to my best friend, um, I think it's the, po the post-high come down. So like 
that glorious time spent in New York where I feel activated and supported and loved and like anything's possible. And then to come back to my version of Babylon, fucking hell. It's like, it's like, I feel like I'm having a come down after a three day rave in my early 20s. It's hardcore. Um, and so I'm going to have to do a lot of work this week to manage my mental health. Like I said, I'm seeing someone special today and I've not seen them face to face. We got married then, then, in over a year. So maybe that will perk this buttercup up. <laughs> left of the class and I found that four minute effort a lot harder than the five minute effort. There is no rhyme nor reason to this running thing but I'm tremendously proud of the effort I've put in today. We've had r way less rest time. I am getting stronger even though this was such a tough week. I am going to take this to my max run speed. It's only 60 seconds bruh. If I'm going to I'm not gonna die. Might as well go out and play. run very strong intervals i'll insert clips from my phone da 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 i gotta get in the shower because i i'm beefing <laughs> today is a very special day um as most of you know if you've engaged with my work or followed me on a different platform or read any of my books of which there are three by them please um i was raised by my maternal grandfather and for many many reasons none of which are anyone's business we haven't seen him face to face in over a year and he doesn't know that we bought our dream house he doesn't know he doesn't know so today right now in fact he's being driven here in our our in a car service and i've given them explicit instructions to not reveal the address because we're in the same area so it's not like he's driving to scotland like it's not going to be bait and um i can't wait hopefully he gives me expression he normally does i can't wait to see his expression because this is not the last house he saw us in and what's so funny 
when he was last at our old house, the constant conversation was, we need a bigger space, we need a bigger space, we need a bigger space. This is the dream, this is the dream. And so this is a big deal for me. And I'll tell you why this is a big deal. This is the last living person. This is the only living person, obviously outside of my husband and my kids, that I, I'm, I want to find the right language, but that I that I want to be proud of me, there, that's maybe, like, he raised me, like, he taught me how to read, he took me to school, he bathed me, he fed me, so this is like, you know how you have your person in your life that if you won won this award, or got this promotion, or bought this house, or did this thing, or wrote this book, or climbed this mountain, this is who you would want to look down or around that, and be like, oh, they rate me, then the world rates me, this is my guy, and so, this is a moment for me, this is a moment, and it's a moment that I've denied myself, again, for no one's business, but my own for far too long, and so, I'm excited, I'm just doing a light beat, because my granddad knows what my face looks like, I don't need to do this, I just want to do this, the eye infection's getting a little bit better, we're almost in the clear, but I shan't risk it just yet, Anyway, let me finish this beat and I'll see you guys in a minute. Oh, I need to learn how to vogue. You tell me, hmm. all the people. Yeah. Why are you excited for this? Why are you nervous? Why have you got butterflies? <laughs> Why? What's so, that? everyone knows that I was raised by my maternal granddad, right? And we haven't seen him face to face in over a year. And in that time, we've bought our dream house. Like, you guys know that. People know that. But he doesn't know that. So now he's on his way here, but he thinks he's going to our old house. And I'm just like, ah! And like, he's my person. You know how everyone has a person mm -hmm. that you want to be proud of you? It's a very hard thing to explain. Absolutely. He's my, he's my last living person. Yeah. Like if there's someone I want to see pride and joy in their eyes, yes. it's him. So hopefully he gives us a good reaction. Surprise! <laughs> Thank you, sir. He kept it a secret. <laughs> <laughs> he was so surprised. He said, this is the house. I said, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Have a good day. Oh, you have Granddad, oh, my God, we sold it. You're going to make me cry. We sold it. This is nice. Right? <laughs> Thank you, my child. Very kind. <laughs> this is what you were dying for, are you? <laughs> <laughs> you <sighs> what a day! We pulled that off. We pulled that all the way off. Everyone's had dinner. Bodies out. I need to get this makeup off my face. I need to. Guys, I just woke up and Uncle Bode is starting on me. Where did I start? Because I said, sorry guys, I've got my retainer in. I said to you, do I need fuel in the car? Mm. And you said, do you? Yeah, do you? Do, have you checked? I mean, you drove your car last. <coughs> you, you guys, look, you look at the gauge? I don't know how to read the gauge. And he knows this. And I feel like at this point, it's like petrol abuse. <laughs> Does my car even use petrol? Your car does not use petrol. That's why my hand <laughs> is like this. Your car doesn't use petrol. It uses diesel. Right. It's electric. <laughs> Whatever. I can't even check the... Um... Do I have an app that I can check it on? No, you can't check the app because your car hasn't been driven over the last few days. So your car's gone into a deep sleep. Ooh. So telematics ain't... Um... The telematic system ain't currently functioning because it's going to deep sleep. So I, I had to look at the car physically, but I think I know because I keep an eye on these things and you don't. You're blocking my light. Because I keep an eye on these You're things. You're blocking you my don't. light. I believe you've got half a tank. He said the telematic Guanamataka. 
guys, I'm stressed. He said, t- he said the telematic chica boom boom. No, <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> he said the telahakuna makara. <laughs> <laughs> that was not English, right, guys? That was not English. What telematics? The That sound is like the 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 things from um Black Panther, the telecon. The telecon. That's <laughs> <laughs> right, guys. To start the day, let me check your temperature. Bring your head here. Come here. Come closer. Can I have that? Wait, I'm checking their temperature. Okay, you're green. You're good to go. You're good to go. God, Ninja Man. Ninja Man. <laughs> what about Ninja Man? No, I, I, I'm, I'm listening to the podcast. Like, um, Oh, George the Poet. Yeah, show it. Show show me the screen. People should listen to this, the whole podcast, but this episode is great. This one? Yeah. Yeah, I'm listening to that and wow. I told you, innit? It's wild. And the production. The production is great. And then you stuck to- and you listen to me, uh, you listen to me like, of course, of course, of course, yes, of course. It's great. to leave by midday it's midday now and i've only finished getting dressed we're going to soho farmhouse for lunch it's sunday i don't even know if i should flip the camera because i've never seen my wardrobe room this you're gonna get your clothes ready okay but i i need to pick what you're wearing baba um anyway look of the day is this okay so just ignore the mess guys this tremendous dress from cos you know me on cos girl um it's given isi miyaki please please but not for the same price and what i've just done here is and i i don't mind that neckline like it's okay but child sometimes sometimes show a little clavage little clavage i'm not showing any cleavage but you know just open up the neck there are ways to fiddle with your clothes to make them look better in my opinion i'm gonna put on my cos black jacket and my prada shoes my hat is downstairs in another piece of luggage i'll get in a second i'm not rushing anymore because i promise you i just heard what they put the shower on so he's only just going to shower i'm not going to stress myself um but because it's the back end of half term and the weather's kind of decent and we couldn't book any tables on the app we know farmhouse is going to be round so the earlier the better and i'm so hungry because it's midday and i haven't eaten you know how it goes anyway let's hustle I actually changed my mind on the shoes. Let's go with the chunky Converse high tops, which are new in. I got them from Very. I work with Very. And um, I'm going to be a Very ambassador for another year. Just signed that contract. So, boom. Um, This is giving very much uh, Yoji. It's giving very much Comme des Garçons. It's, it's giving Rick as well. And I'm not a Rick fan don't hate me um but there's something very rick about the entire look and it's not usually my vibe but i just want to be cute and comfy so let's go very funny day today guys i'm driving my granddad for the first time like he's never granddad's never been driven by me i think he's actually a bit scared <laughs> Guys, 
you wanted to know how much my granddad was like, are you sure you can drive this car? <laughs> and I said, granddad, trust me, believe me. <laughs> So I just finished driving Grandad. It was good, right? Yeah, it was good, yeah. <laughs> I like you two's matching outfits. The okay. RJ and yeah, body. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, I've got to be discreet, you guys. You can tell they're, they're hungry. They're already going to the restaurant. I hope there's space in there. I hope they eat. Oh wait, there's more. <laughs> I can't see her face. <laughs> I need this. I want this. Amazing, right? Hi. That's what I need. Mean. Mm. Thanks, Baba. Wait, I want to get the hat. Oh. See hat. I love that. Make Hello. Make and eat the maker. Right. Look at what she's wearing. O O T D. Come closer, though, Baba. So, back home, but I need to do a few things. Clearing up this.